Let's discuss rounding. If we're asked something like this, round 222 to the nearest 10, what we're really being asked is what 10 is closest to 222. So let's just think about if we were counting up in tens, we'd get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, etc. So if we carried on counting up into the 200s, we'd get 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, right? Really, what we're asking ourselves is which of those things is 222 closest to? Now, hopefully, you can see quite easily and quickly that when you're counting up in tens, you'll get 220 and 230, and 222 lies somewhere between 220 and 230. Where exactly does it lie? Well, what's the halfway mark? Halfway between 220 and 230 is obviously 225. Where is 222? Well, it's over here. Now, anything that's in this half will be closer to 220, and anything that's in this half will be closer to 230. So, if you think about it, where is 222? It's sitting right over here. It's closer to 220 than it is to 230. So, if we round it off to the nearest 10, it's 220. Now, let's see how we can see that just by looking at the number. We want to round to the nearest 10. So, let's underline where we see 10s in our number. It's over there. We then have a look at the number immediately to the right of the tens, and it's a 2. That tells you, because it's smaller than 5, which is the halfway point, it tells you that you need to round down to 220. Let's have a look at the next one. Rounding 226 to the nearest 10. So again, we want to round to the nearest 10. Let's focus then on the number just to the right of the 10. That is a 6. 226 is over there, right? That 6, because it is more than the halfway point of 5, it tells you that you're in this half. And so you need to round up to 230. The one slightly tricky one will always be if you want to take 225 and round it to the nearest 10. Again, we're rounding to the nearest 10, so we need to look at the number just to the right of the 10s, and that's 5. And 5 is exactly at the midpoint between 220 and 230, so it's not really closest to either of them. But we then just decide, okay, look, what we'll do is we will always round the 225, if it's a 5, we will always just choose to round it up. If we're asked to round 87,180 to the nearest thousand, what we're asking is what thousand is closest to 87,180? So let's think about what the thousands are. It's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, etc., etc., counting and counting. So if you carried on counting up in thousands like that, the one you'd get to before 87,180 will be 87,000, and the one you'll get to after that will be 88,000. And what's the halfway point between those two? Well, what's half of a thousand, it's 500, so it's 87,500. So just as before, anything that lies below the halfway point, below 87,500, will go down to 87,000, and anything that lies above that 500 point will round up to 88,000. So let's have a look at it number wise. We look at we're wanting to round to the nearest thousand. So what we pay attention to is the number just to the right of the thousand. That's a one. That tells you that you're somewhere in this region around 87,100. Here, 
That means that you need to round down to 87,000. What about this next one, 87,634? Well, again, focusing on the thousand, because that's where you want to round to, you look immediately to the right of that to see where you're sitting. And that's a six. It's bigger than the five. So you, in other words, you're in this region. So you need to round up to 88,000. I want you to try some now. So do the following. Round 3,763 to the nearest 100 and then round 3,718 to the nearest 100. Pause, your video, pause the video and do this in your homework books now. Okay, let's look at this together. We're rounding to the nearest 100. In other words, we're focusing there. So we need to have a look at the number one to the right of that. That is a six. It's bigger than a five. So we need to round up. And so it'll go three, eight, zero, zero. Here again, we're rounding to the nearest hundred. So we need to look one to the right of that. There the number to the right is a one. That is less than a five. And so we're going to round down to 3,700. Okay, we'll look at something a little bit different now. Um, and it's only different because it's not quite as neat and cute a rule. Because with all the others, you always just looked one to the right of where you're rounding for. If it was five and up, you'd go round up. And if it was less than five, you'd round down. Here, we're going to be asked to round to the nearest five which is a bit different. Now, what we mean by this is when we're asked to round 73 to the nearest five, really all we're asking ourselves is which five is closest to 73. So let's just establish what the fives are. The fives are anything you get when you count up in five. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, etc., etc. So which of those fives are close to 73? Well, hopefully, if you think about it, you can see quite easily that 70 and 75 are close to 73. One's just a bit below and one's a bit above. Then you just need to picture that number line again. Where is 73? Well, it's can you see that to get from 73 up to 75 is closer than to get all the way down to 70. So where will 73 round to? If you're rounding to the nearest 5, hopefully you can see the closest one is 75. Try the next one for yourself quickly first. If I asked you to round 79 to the nearest 5, what do you think the answer would be? Okay, let's check. Did you answer 80? Because, think about it, the 5's close to it, there's 75 below it, and 80 above the 79. But where does 79 sit? Well, it sits a lot closer to 80 than it does to 75. So the answer here is 80.